the chart is Heisler's and the Grober's chart. Okay, the Biot's number. See the Heisler's and the Grober chart. We basically call it as Heisler's chart. Okay, I will call it as Heisler's chart. Uh, so uh, when uh, we will use it when the Biot's number is greater than 0.1, and it is basically a graphical analysis approach. Okay, earlier it was completely analytical approach. Now we have graphical and bit of formula based tactics. Now. See such kind of curves you will have. Okay, so what this curve is telling you, this curve is telling you, if you see that this is the x-axis is being denoted by Fourier's number. First of all, this is the temperature of a plate at mid-plane. Okay, so suppose if the numerical suggests you that you need to calculate the temperature at the mid-plane, then you need to open up this chart. Okay. And temperature of a plate. This is not a cylinder. This is not a sphere. So we will have three different curves for cylinder and sphere. Okay. So temperature of a plate. See, this is a plate. This is a rectangular plate. Okay. So the temperature of the plate at mid plane. Mid plane is where x is equals to zero. Mid plane where x is equals to zero. Okay. So in y axis, in y axis, there is the temperature distribution. Okay. In x-axis is the Fourier's number, as we have already, uh, as I have already told you in my previous video, the Fourier's number is another dimensionless number. Okay, and can you see this? This is one by Biot's number. The Biot's number is H L by K. Now it is one by Biot's number, and these curves, these curves are actually increasing from here to here. Okay. So it is increasing one uh, one by Biot's number. Okay, it's written here. So this has this is one by Biot's number zero, and this is one by Biot's number hundred. Okay. So in these kind of numer, I will I will just tell you a numerical in this. Okay. So what will we do? Suppose if the numerical asks that this is a plate. Okay, and you need to measure the temperature at the mid plane, means at the center, at the axis. Then first of all. And here, in the in such kind of numerical, uh, you need to calculate this temperature. Okay, you need to calculate the temperature. So, if you have time, means if you have time given in seconds, you will calculate Fourier's number. Okay, then H L by K, you will calculate Biot's number, and then you will reciprocal it, and you will actually find out. Suppose, suppose your Fourier's number is here. 14. Suppose I'm just taking an example, and one by Biot's number is suppose four. Suppose this is four. Okay. So what will you do? You will actually take a line vertically up, and then where it is intersecting, you will actually go horizontal. And this is your temperature distribution. This is your temperature distribution. It is 0.03. So it is T minus T infinity. By T i minus T infinity is 0.03, and then the initial temperature will be given to you in the numerical. The ambient temperature will be given to you in the numerical. Just calculate the temperature for this specified time, by which you have calculated the Fourier's number. This is for a plate, and this is for calculating the temperature at the center of the plate. Now, suppose if you have to go away from the center. If we have to go away from the center, then what will you do? And so, first of all, suppose if this is a plate, okay. Now, this has the complete length L here, and this is L. So the complete thickness will be two L, okay. So the complete thickness will be two L. So suppose if this is the point that is away from this center, so this particular dimension. X divided by L has to be calculated. Now, when you calculate, see the total thickness. Suppose if the thickness is 50 mm for the plate, then it will be like L will be 50 by 2. So L will be uh, 25 mm. Okay. Then X. Suppose you need to calculate for 10 mm. 10 mm away from the axis. 10 mm away from axis. Then what will you do? It will be 10. Divided by 25, so that will be x by l. Okay. Now find out x by l. See, x by l is increasing from this side to this side. It is coming down and it is increasing. Okay. So 
Suppose, and this is 1 by Biot's number in the x-axis, and the temperature distribution is again on the y-axis. Now, suppose you have 1 by Biot's number as 1, I'm just taking an example, and 1 as the x by L, go straight, hit this curve, get this line horizontal, and you got this. Suppose it is 0 0.75. Suppose it is 0 0.75. So, 0 0.75 will be equals to t minus t infinity by t i minus t infinity. Okay, calculate t. So, we have seen for a plate how to calculate the temperature using these charts. Very simple as you have already seen. It's very simple. It just took me two minutes to calculate the temperature at the center and calculate the temperature away from the center for a certain distance. Now, we need to calculate heat transfer for the plate. So, for heat transfer for the plate, again it is the uh, almost the same thing. You need to calculate square of Biot's number into Fourier's number. Okay, That will be placed in the x-axis. Okay, And you need to calculate the ratio. You need to calculate, means you will not be calculating Q by Q max, but suppose you need to have you, you will first calculate Q max, okay, and then with this value, with any value, then you will find out the value of heat, okay. So, here it is Biot square in Biot's number squared into Fourier's number, and then here it is Biot's number, and it is increasing from left hand side to right hand side. So, once you get this, suppose you have this as this term, and then it's this here then you go for this okay suppose if it is 0.55 then 0.55 is equals to q by q max okay 0.55 q by q max so you will calculate q max i will tell you how to calculate q max in the later slides and then you get the value of q this is the heat transfer okay now the same thing applies for the cylinder at the midpoint okay now if you have a cylinder it's already shown here See, if, if you have a cylinder here, like this, okay, and if you are taking like uh, the center point, the axis of the cylinder, so again, you need to calculate 1 by Biot's number, okay, and as ever, it is increasing from left hand side to right hand side, then here is the Fourier's number, okay, the same thing, and here is your temperature, temperature distribution. Here is your temperature distribution. So once the temperature, uh, so you just plot any point that is given there, plot it, get this point, get this value of T as, as I have already discussed in the previous slide for the plate. And the same thing comes for the temperature of cylinder at any, radi uh, at any distance away from that center line, at any radius away from the axis. Okay, so there you need to do, suppose if this is your cylinder, if this is your cylinder and this is your axis of the cylinder, okay, so this will be R and this will be R, so this will be 2R, that's basically the diameter, okay, so what we will do, suppose if we need to calculate, we need to calculate this distance, temperature at this distance which is small r away from the axis, then you need to first of all calculate r by r. So here it is, it is increasing from topwards to downwards, okay. Calculate 1 by Biot's number, get this value of temperature, understood? It's for the cylinder. Now again, we will calculate the heat transfer for the cylinder, okay. Again the same thing, it's the Biot's number squared with the Fourier's number, okay, and suppose, and, and this is the Biot's number, it is now, it is now H R by K, okay, for the plate it was H L by K, so anything having radius, the L will be replaced by R, okay, and we all know that the characteristic length is V by A, so for cylinder, it will be like pi R square H by like 2 pi R L, okay. So, this will be there. Okay. So, this is like HL by K, uh, HR by K. So, you just suppose if your value is here and if your uh, Biot's number is here, so you need to 
go for this okay so this is your value and for this value first of all calculate q max and then you will calculate the value of q okay this is for the heat transfer for the cylinder now temperature and the same thing applies to the temperature of sphere if you are calculating at the midpoint there you can see the uh, sphere is given so again the fourier's number on the x axis okay then again one by biot's number again the biot's number here will be hr by k since it has diameter it's a sphere okay then again it is increasing one by biot's number is increasing from this side to this side you can just plot it okay get the value for sphere and just need to calculate the temperature here and suppose if you have to go away if you go away from the cylinder uh, from the axis from the center not the axis now it's the center of the sphere axis is for the cylinder and for the plate okay but suppose if you have to go away then the same kind of chart you have been uh, seeing in uh, slab and as well as in cylinder now the the same chart is here again okay so again you need to calculate r by r and it is increasing from this side to this side okay so calculate one by biot's number here one by hr okay so just have something here here and calculate here okay so this was about the uh, you know calculation of temperatures at the center point and some distance away from the center point for all the three variations as we have already seen that uh, while we were deriving the heat transfer 3d conduction equation uh, in uh, cartesian in uh, spherical and in cylindrical coordinates here also we are taking those three uh, examples like in sphere like in cylinder and then we have taken the slab okay so what we have seen is we have seen that how we will calculate the temperature of the center line okay uh, of of slab of cylinder and sphere and then we have already seen uh, through these slides that how we will calculate if we have uh, if we have to calculate the temperature away from the center of be it slab be it cylinder or be it sphere okay again the heat transfer for the sphere is the same okay it's biot square into fourier's number okay so you just get any value here and then calculate it you will first calculate q max and then you will get the value of q uh, 